Hello everyone, Jackie Edwards here. Thank you so much for joining me. I am actually back at my old house right now. We have so many engineers at the new house at the farm we're building for those of you that are following along. So super exciting today. The septic tank is getting hooked up. So we will have a flushing toilet. Um, the electricians are on site doing all of the finishing off the house and helping with the septic tank and starting to hook up the barns. And my main contractor was on site this morning. It's been awesome. So anyways, I came to get away from the chaos a little bit. So here I am at the old house. It's also warmer here. So anyways, today I wanted to talk about the one thing you need to do to have a rent-to-rent -rent business. So that, now there are loads of things that you need to do. Um, but there is one thing that you absolutely must be doing that I see so many people pushing off and not doing and waiting to do until they feel more confident or until they feel like they've got everything else set up and ready. But I really think that viewings is the one thing you should be doing right now, no matter where you're at in your rent to rent business, whether you're, you know, just got the idea of rent to rent and you're just getting started or whether you've got like, all of your business stuff set up, your bank account, your paperwork, everything's ready, you need to be doing viewings. Or maybe you've got a couple of properties and you're wondering what to do next, get out there and do some more viewings. Viewings is the most important thing that you can do in your rent to rent business, pretty much in any property business. Because if you're not out there looking at properties, how are you gonna get a deal? The only way you're going to get a deal is looking at properties, even if you're using a sourcing agent. So if you're using somebody else to source those deals for you, you should be going to look at those properties anyways. So you should have that sourcer line up a bunch of viewings for you or at least one or two viewings for you and go look at those properties. The only way you are going to get a deal is if you're out there doing viewings. And it is totally fine to get out there and do viewings before you feel like you're ready for it. Because honestly, for many of us, we never feel ready for it. I still get nervous before going and doing viewings on stuff. It's, it's, it's different every time. It's something that is going to push you outside of your comfort zone. So, you know, maybe this is your first thing and you thought, oh, I think rent to rent sounds like a great idea. Or, you know, maybe I want to get into property investing. Get out there and do some viewings. You don't have to know everything. That viewing does not have to be perfect. You don't have to know the answer to every single question. You don't have to even know exactly what you want. But the more viewings you do, the more clarity you're going to get on what you're looking for and what you want. And the more viewings you do, the more practice you are going to have explaining what you want to other people and explaining how you can help to other people. That is pretty much the key because anybody can do all the admin stuff. I mean, it takes time, you know, setting up a bank account. Oh my God, it can be a nightmare. Banks are. I don't know how many forms you need to fill out and you can never talk to a real person half the time. It can take ages, but anybody can do it. In the meantime, while all of that's happening in the background, while you're setting up your bank account and putting together your marketing pack and setting up your redress scheme and doing all of those bits and pieces, you should be out there doing viewings. Even if you're not exactly sure what area you want to do them in and what area you want to invest in, do a couple of viewings there. Test it out, see how you feel about the properties. Walk the streets a little bit after you're viewing and before you're viewing. You know, maybe you're trying to choose between two or three areas. Go do some viewings in all of those areas. Call up a couple of estate agents. Call up a couple of letting agents. Go do some viewings. It's as easy as that. You do not have to get a deal out of every single viewing, and you absolutely will not get a deal out of every single viewing. You will not get a, view, a deal out of every two viewings. You know, it's going to be like every 10, 20 viewings, 100 viewings, you're going to get a deal. So the more viewings you do, the more deals you're going to get. It's a huge numbers game. If you're only doing one or two viewings, it's going to take you a really, really long time to get that first deal or to get any deal. If you're doing 10, 20 viewings a week, you're going to get a deal more quickly because it's a numbers game. You're seeing more properties. You're seeing more potential to make a deal because there's not a deal to be done in every single property. And I see a lot of people struggle and they say, oh, I've looked at this property and I'm sure there's a way to make it a deal. There might not be. There might be. There might be a deal to be had there, but there might not be. So you need to be really good at doing the viewings, really good at knowing 
what you're looking for and how to explain yourself to people. And the only way you're going to get good at that is practice, is doing viewings, is making the mistakes, feeling silly at a couple of viewings so that you know, you know what to say the fifth viewing so that people aren't confused. So you feel silly those first four viewings. You go back and think about it and say, well, I said this and they didn't really understand it. Oh, my God, I can't believe I said that. Why would I say something like that? Then you go to the fifth viewing and you nail it. Or you go to the 10th viewing and you nail it because you've had that practice all along the way versus waiting until you've got absolutely everything set up. You've got all your ducks in a row. You've taken 30 training courses and then you go and do a viewing and you expect it to be perfect. And it's not going to be because you haven't practiced. So no matter where you're at in your business, the more viewings you do, the better you're going to get at it. So no matter where you're at in your rent to rent business, you need to be doing viewings because that's the only way you're gonna get deals and that's the only way you're gonna get better to get the deals and to negotiate better and to know what you're looking for and to know what you want. So I harp on about this a lot, but I just wanna make this super, super clear. You should be doing viewings. You don't have to be perfect. You don't have to expect a deal out of it. In fact, I tell a lot of people, if you're nervous about doing viewings, go to the next town over where you don't really want any properties and do viewings there for a little while. That way you don't have that expectation on yourself that you have to turn this into a deal. You can be a bit more laid back while you relax and practice. So don't have that expectation that everything is going to turn into a deal. It might, your very first viewing might turn into a deal and that is fabulous, but it probably won't. And your second one probably won't. And your third one probably won't, but maybe your fourth or fifth one will. And you've had those practices, those first few, so that you know what to do when it does become a deal. Because what happens if that first viewing you go to is the deal of the century? And you've never done a viewing before and you're scared shitless and you don't know what to say and you don't know how to answer their questions and you're really nervous and confused and maybe you do lose that deal versus if you start now and just start doing lots of viewings without that expectation of it turning into a deal maybe you don't even have your redress team set up yet maybe you don't have you know your client money protection set up yet so really you can't do a deal now anyways you take that pressure off of yourself so you can use it as a learning and a teaching experience instead of just having so much pressure that this has to turn into a deal and if it doesn't turn into a deal, I'm no good and I'm never going to make it anywhere. Take that pressure off. Start doing the viewings before you're ready. Start doing the viewings now. Even if you've got a couple of projects on the go and you've got that momentum build up, keep that momentum going and get out there and do viewings. You should be doing a few viewings minimum every week. I try to tell my students you should be doing five viewings minimum every single week. And, you know, sometimes it's hard to find the time to fit that in. But if you're serious about your business and you're serious about moving forward, you will absolutely make time for viewings because if you're not doing viewings, you are not getting property deals and you will never grow your business. So hopefully that was helpful. Thank you so much for joining me. I've got to go because I have a call with my VIP members at the moment. Um, well, not at the moment, but in a couple of minutes. So I need to prepare for that. Um, I am running a super special live Q&A session on November 21st. This is for any student that has taken my Unlocking the Secrets course. So hop to my website, renttorentacademy.co.uk. Click on the, I don't know, there'll be a button or courses um, and learn about the Unlocking the Secrets of Rent to Rent course. This is a recording of a day long course that I did a couple of months ago. And if you take that course now, you will get access to a live Q and A call with me. So you can watch all the pre recorded videos, get all of the information, all the downloads, all the templates, all the contracts, everything, and then have an opportunity to join me live for a Q and A session to get all of your questions answered. So that's available to anybody that's done my Unlocking the Secrets course. So if you're watching, you've already done that course, make sure you check your email for more information. And if you want a chance to get on live and ask me all of your questions to really make sure that you're set up for the end of the year and you're ready for 2020 so that you know exactly what you need to do to start 2020 off with a huge bang and a big burst of motivation and you're ready to go, I highly recommend it. So hopefully I will see you on the 21st of November. Otherwise, I will see you again next week. Thank you for joining me and get out there and do those viewings.